Hey, I'm Marty from Spring Ahead Media Solutions, and today I'm going to show you how to create an email sequence in MailChimp, even if your MailChimp plan does not allow you to do that. Currently on the free plan, you do not have access to customer journeys, um, only to the classic automations, and maybe not even that. I'll talk about it. And then in their essential plan, you have access to like one or two step automations, but not beyond that. So I will show you the workaround for that. Before we do this, I'd recommend just looking at the plans. It could be that just for a couple of dollars a month, you could have access to those features and you could save yourself all the effort of doing this workaround. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. I put out all sorts of helpful MailChimp videos for you. Um, and let me kind of talk you through the theory of how we're going to do this and then we'll get into it. The way that we're going to set this up is by doing one email at a time and we're going to connect them together. So we'll set up our first email to trigger however we want our series to trigger. And then we'll set up a post automation action, which means that after that email gets sent, the folks in there will get a tag. That tag will then trigger our next email. So the second email in our sequence, which will actually be its own automated email, will get triggered when someone gets added to that tag. And you can use that strategy as many times as you need. Again, this is a workaround. It may very well be easier for you to just upgrade your plan. But if you're not ready for this, this is how you do it. So the first thing that we're going to do in here is actually set up the tag that's going to link our first email to our second email. So for that, I'm going to go into audience, tags, and create a tag. Trigger email number two. I love having my tags be as straightforward as possible. And now let's create our first email in our automation. If you are currently on the free plan in automations, you will not have access to customer journeys. You will have access to classic automations. If you can click here for that, if you're not seeing it here, I will leave a link below that you can use to access this classic automations tool. So we're going to start here. Now this is where you will set up what the trigger is for that first email. So what happens that makes that first email send? Stay away from this welcome new subscribers email. Even if that's what you want to do, this is only a one step email. We need something more complicated. So we're going to go to custom. You'll name this what you're going to name yours. Pick your audience want to go through the settings over here but for the sake of this video we are going to go into edit right here this is our trigger so this is what's going to cause it to send and we're going to pick our trigger if you want to send a welcome email which is the most popular series of emails that we send when someone signs up for your email list that is when they are most interested in what you have to say so you want to really get them with a welcome email you can do audience management here sign up this is when they're added to your list I'm going to trigger this to go out immediately. And there we go. I'm going to have this go out um, every day, all day, because whenever they sign up, I want it to go out. This post send action is where we're going to add that tag after it sends. So add, choose your post send action, add a tag, and there's our tag. All right. From here, you will set up this email you'll design your email and set that to go um, i have other videos for that i will link that for you on how to do that now we need to set up the second email in our series so i'm going to go back and i'll show you how to do that to set up our second email i'm going to go back to automations back to classic again and this one actually has it right here email subscribers when they're tagged so when they get added to that tag all right so i'm going to call this Automated email number two, you'll call yours, whatever makes sense to you. Again, you'll go to your settings and set that up. Our trigger here, edit, is going to be when they get added to trigger email number two. And then you'll set how far away from the first one you want it to be. So 
the next day, two days later, whatever, save that. You'll set up this automated email. And then if you wanted another one after that, you would again do the post send action and add a different tag and do your next email with that tag. Now, if you were paying for a MailChimp package that allowed for automations, you would have a plus sign here and you would be able to add that next email right underneath here. Well, there we go. Good luck setting up your automations. Um, if you want any more information about how to set up automations, what they should look like, all kinds of other things, check out my other videos. Don't forget to sign up for my email list and I'll see you around.